So here we are again with the start of Great Britain's defence of their Davis Cup title from last year. And when this match between uh, GB and Japan gets underway, the Barclay Card Arena uh, around us here is going to be absolutely jumping. Uh, interesting team selection from Great Britain. Dan Evans comes in to play in his home city in place of Carl Edmund, uh, who's perhaps slightly injured in his back. I think Evans had a fairly good chance of playing anyway um, because the indoor court suits him. He's got some proven Davis Cup experience. He's obviously improved a lot since last summer uh, and he's got past wins over the two Japanese players, Kei Nishikori and Taro Daniel. Uh, so anyway, he gets the nod <coughs> over Carl Edmund. Fantastic opportunity for him playing in front of uh, his home crowd. But as ever, with so many things in British tennis uh, and the Great Britain team, a lot of it will come down to Andy Murray. Now, which Andy Murray is going to turn up, we're not exactly sure because he's had pretty much five weeks off since the Australian Open final. And in that time, uh, of course, he became a father. He did two weeks of doing uh, completely nothing, in fact, unusually for him. So we're not quite sure how sharp he's going to be. I'm pretty sure he'll dispose of Daniel on the first day. Uh, but if he's n slightly off his game, then obviously Nishikori, the world number six, a player of real pedigree, is easily good enough to upset him on the Sunday. And that could possibly leave a fifth and decisive rubber uh, for Dan Evans. Of course, Jamie Murray as well made a huge contribution last year and uh, uh, since the triumph in Ghent, he's become a men's doubles Grand Slam champion. But all in all, uh, you'd probably think it's going to be 1-1 after the first day, 2-1 uh, to Great Britain after the second day and some kind of victory for Great Britain at the end of uh, what is a very eagerly anticipated match after all that happened last year.